Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem is a man has attached chromosomes 21 if his wife is cytologically normal what is the chance that their first child will have a down syndrome I know that many of you would instantly say 50% and this is wrong answer please watch this video to the end and you would know the correct answer so here is a human karyotype this is karyotype of the male because Y and X chromosomes are present. If this would be karyotype of the female, then we would see two X chromosomes here. And according to our problem, this person has two chromosomes 21, which attach to each other and basically make one uh, chromosome that consists of two attached chromosomes. Will this person would have some genetic uh, abnormalities or I would rather say phenotypic abnormalities. No, because he has just a normal number of chromosomes and uh, two chromosomes 21 which attach to each other and make one chromosome still doesn't have any effect on the health of this person because genes would be uh, expressed from uh, both chromosomes even if they are attached so normal number of proteins would be produced and the health of this person wouldn't be affected now let's take a look what's going to happen if a couple were normal female and this male would conceive a child so here is uh, let's say male so this is sign for a male and here is a female here is a sign for female male would produce two type of the gametes and again I'm not going to show all the chromosomes we are specifically interested in chromosome 21 so let's think what's going to happen this person has only one large chromosome 21 which consists of two chromosomes so he would be able to produce a sperm of two kinds one would have this chromosome another variant of the haploid set of these chromosomes would have all the chromosomes but would miss this chromosome 21 again would have instead of 23 chromosomes 22 and this variant would have 23 chromosomes but one chromosome 21 would consist of uh, basically two chromosomes 21 and male produce what type of gametes he produce sperm so let's put it here female has two normal chromosomes 21 and female produce also two types of the gametes and both these types are going to have chromosome 21 female gametes we call Excel. Let's now build simple Punnett square. And what we are going to see here? We are going to see here diploid organism. Here a child would inherit chromosome 21 from the mother side and double chromosome 21 from the father side. Normal chromosome from the mother side 21 and double chromosome 21 from the father side. So actually here we see uh, three chromosomes 21 so all these children are going to have uh, down syndrome which we also call trisonomy 21 and here the child going to have chromosome 21 from the mother side and no chromosome 21 from the father side here chromosome 21 from the mother side and no chromosome 21 from the father side. Now in order to give a correct answer you should understand that none of the living people have completely missing whole chromosome. So these children that are going to miss one chromosome 21 are not going to be born. The fetus if even would develop would stop in its development and this is going to lead to stillbirth or uh, self-abortion. That means that 100% of the 
live births are going to be children with Down syndrome. And this is going to be an answer to our question. Probability that the first child would have a Down syndrome would be 100%. And I also want to share some interesting information with you. Probably many of you know that karyotype uh, looks like this and organized according to the sizes of the chromosomes. And probably many of you think that chromosome 22 is smaller than chromosome 21 because it stands to the right of the chromosome 21. But actually, uh, this karyotype, human karyotype, have been built well before we have been able to sequence a human genome. And when we sequence, we have found that chromosome 21 actually slightly smaller than chromosome 22 and have to be in place of chromosome 22 and have to be called chromosome 22. But of course, um, in order not to mess up all the textbooks, we still keep uh, this order. And this is no wonder why trisonomy 21 happens to this chromosome because this is actually smallest chromosome in our genome. And uh, trisonomy usually doesn't happen with large chromosomes, or even if it happens, usually this leads to stillbirth and self-abortion because this would have much more severe consequences than extra very small chromosome. And of course, in all our genome, we cannot miss any of the chromosomes except chromosome, which is razor large chromosome X, for example, some female may miss X chromosome completely. Why this may happen? Because even uh, in normal karyotype of the female, those we see two X chromosomes, one chromosome would be shut down and would form bar body uh, in order uh, to compensate for the extra X chromosome because in uh, male's karyotype, we see only one X chromosome. And in female karyotype, we also see one active X chromosome and another X chromosome would form a bar body. And uh, some females even can miss this X chromosome for this reason. Thus, this also leads to certain genetic abnormalities and it's called XO syndrome. And this is probably the only example when one whole chromosome can be missing. All the other variants where any of the chromosome would be missing would lead to such severe genetic and health problems that such organism, such fetus even wouldn't be able to develop. And this would lead to self-abortion or still birth. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.